the OVC is coming up, man. So how does that make you feel? <sighs> Shoot, let me tell you, Doc. I mean, the OVC is just such a tough conference. So many good coaches and good players. And I just don't know if these guys understand the magnitude of what it's going to take to deserve to win each game. I mean, you understand what I'm saying, right? Doc, Doc, are you listening? Oh, sorry, Coach. You are watching college basketball right here on ESPN+. Plus. What you're watching is the second half of a doubleheader between Tennessee State and Moorhead State. The boys get their crack at the Eagles today. I hope you, you are still having a fantastic Thursday. Last week, the Lady Tigers took to the road and split their two games, losing at UT Martin 87 to 74, but defeating Southeast Missouri 75 to 73, thanks to Carlos Marshall Jr.'s performance in the second half, driving through the lane and scoring in the final seconds to lift the Tigers to their first road win in conference play. Time now for our starting lineups presented by Jostens, the official recognition company of the OVC. Jordan Walker, the guard averaging 13 points and four rebounds per game. Justin Thomas, Jaiman Henson, James Baker, and ties on Claude, bringing up the starting lineup for the Moorhead State Eagles. For TSU, Michael Littlejohn, the senior from Muskegon, Michigan. Starting at guard. Carlos Marshall Jr. getting the start as well. The redshirt sophomore from Memphis, Tennessee, averaging almost 12 points and four rebounds per game. Mark Freeman, the freshman out of Memphis, Tennessee, averaging almost six points, two rebounds, and four assists per game. Shaquem Johnson, the junior forward from Youngstown, Ohio, averaging almost 10 points and four rebounds per game. And in the lineup, Jalen Washington, the senior out of Smyrna, Tennessee, getting the start. For Penny Collins and the Tennessee State Tigers. Penny Collins in his second season at the helm of the Lady Tigers. Coached at Belmont and played at Belmont for head coach Rick Bird, who is now retired. The story, though, for Penny Collins and his Tigers, they will be without grad transfer Wesley Harris suffered a minor injury in practice this week and as a precaution was held out by the coaching staff. So one of our keys to the game for TSU who will step up in the place of Wesley Harris? We'll find out right now. Off we go in game number two of this doubleheader. As the fans remain on their feet, Mark Freeman finding Washington. Back to Freeman, working his way around. Little John on the wing, getting it down low to Johnson. Johnson tries to spin, nearly loses the ball, gathers it back. 
Nice spin move inside, and there's the first bucket of the game. Shaquem Johnson. Here's Juice Thomas. No. Now they're going down low. That's Claude. That shot no good, but the rebound is picked up by Michael Littlejohn. And Mark Freeman bringing it up the floor for Tennessee State. Tigers 3-1 and one in conference play. Here's Marshall, a three ball. It's good. Carlos Marshall. Tigers shooting about 35% from the field as a team. And a kick ball as a turnover. Fast start for Tennessee State. Here's Mark Freeman. Driving, trying to throw it up. It's no good. Ties on. Claude comes down with the rebound. Here's Thomas. Driving, kick, and scoring. James Baker. His first bucket. Gets the Eagles on the board. The big storyline today will be who will pick up the slack for Wesley Harris. Guard injured in practice. Held out of today's game as a precaution. Here's Freeman getting around the screen. That shot is no good. Walker comes down with the board. This is a Moorhead State squad that likes to play a methodical style of basketball in the half court. They don't like to speed up the tempo. That is, according to the coaching staff, not who they are. A traveling violation on Juice Thomas. The redshirt junior out of Indianapolis, Indiana. He slipped while trying to get the pass underneath the basket. Couple of early turnovers. Puts Tennessee State in a good spot. Here's Washington going down low to Johnson. Johnson working baseline, tries to go up and under. That's no good. The tip is also no good, but he gets his own rebound. Here's Marshall with the fake. His shot is good. Carlos Marshall, hot start for the Tigers. Seven to two early in this first half. Here's Thomas. Three ball up. No good, but the rebound by Claude. Thomas driving, kicking it back to Claude. No basket. Foul occurred on the floor before the shot was taken. And the foul will be on Shaquem Johnson. That is his first. So Jordan Walker, the senior out of Indianapolis, will inbound, and that's a three ball. That's no good. Bounded around and picked up by Freeman. Tigers like to push the pace. Here's Marshall for three. That's no good. Long rebound chased down by Thomas. Looking for an opening, and a foul will be called. Jalen Washington called for the foul. That is his second. Inbound, that's LJ Bryant. And it's taken away. There's Washington on the steal. Driving. No shot. A charge on Washington. Two quick fouls for the senior from Smyrna, Tennessee. 
and he will have to take his seat. Jaden, Stanley Williams, and Juice Thomas bringing it up the floor. There's Walker. Finding Thomas inside, it goes to Bryant. He whips it around to Henson. He drives, that shot altered by Kone. Finding Johnson, and one, Shaquem Johnson. Finishes with, through the contact and he'll go to the line for two after this timeout. Nine to two. Tennessee State in front. Back in a moment. We not only have top. Back on the floor here at Gentry Center. Nine to two in favor of the Tigers. An and one by Shaquem Johnson off of the break. And Johnson will come out of the media timeout with a chance to finish that three point play. That free throw rims in and out. So coming up the floor is Walker. He finds Williams. That's Taylon Cooper. Trying to go inside and a foul is called. Ben Kone picks up his first. So it's taken away by Egg Buta. Little John working his way around, kicking it back to Freeman. Freeman thought about the three, then decided to pull it back. Mark Freeman is already a dynamic passer at this stage in his career, just a freshman. Logging big time minutes. There's Ekbuta. No, the putback is no good. The second one is Emmanuel Ekbuta. Here's Walker. Walker working on Marshall. That shot is good. Jordan Walker with a nice bucket to stop the bleeding. 11 to four as we come up on 14 minutes left in the opening half. Here's Egbuta at the top of the circle. Gives to Little John. Going down low to Kone. Kone banging his way inside, lift up, that's good. Ben Kone, his first bucket of the game. The redshirt junior from San Francisco, California. Gonna log big minutes today in the absence of Wesley Harris. There's Cooper working on Freeman. Long pass, too long for Jordan Walker. So John Brown bringing it up the floor. Penny Collins digging deep into his bench. Going to have to space out the production that Wesley Harris brings. Nice cutting John Brown, but decided to give it away to Little John. And he's able to gather. Screened by Kone. Working his way around. And a travel on Michael Little John. Before we get things going, it's time to take a look 
at our series history. And it's presented by the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife. It is a series that is narrowly controlled by Moorhead State. They lead 38 to 35. This is the 64th meeting between these two teams. Here's Cooper driving, handing and altered at the, at the rim. Underneath and blocked, but no, a foul was called on Ben Kone. He picks up his second foul and will send Tyson Claude to the line. Claude's first free throw attempt is no good. The 6'8 freshman out of Goldsboro, North Carolina misses both free throws. And here come the Tigers, up 13 to four. Just under seven minutes gone in the opening half. Here's Marshall, fakes, drives, puts it up. That shot no good, he gets his own rebound. Here's Brown, nice spin move, and he draws the contact. He'll go to the line. Taylon Cooper called for the foul. And John Brown will go to the line. Brown, the 6'7 transfer junior out of Miami, Florida, misses his first free throw. He misses both free throws, but Kone with the putback. He goes underhand with the putback off the missed free throw, and Tennessee State is rolling. And a foul is called on the Tigers. Mark Freeman picks up his first foul. What a great putback by Ben Kone going reverse. Baker, no, there's Thomas. Whips it inside, and he's met at the rim, but he gets his putback to go. James Baker, the junior from Brandenburg, Kentucky, with the bucket. Fifth. 15 to six as we come up on eight minutes gone in the first half. Freeman working left, trying to go inside to Egbuda. Nice hands to make the catch, but Cooper rips it away. Here's Malik Riddle checking into the game. He hands to Cooper. Claude back to Riddle. There's Cooper back to Claude. There's Thomas, pulling it back out, seven on the shot clock. Thomas will drive, go up and under with the left hand, no good, rebound by Freeman. He will push the pace. Almost knocked away by Thomas. Here's Egbuda, hands to Moody who's checked into the game now. Freeman finding Brown, Egbuta, Moody. Going behind the back, driving, going up, shot altered by Riddle. Here comes Cooper. Nice inside pass, he goes up and under and good. Taylon Cooper with the sweet up and under finish. And here comes TSU, and then Ravel Moody turns it over. Timeout on the floor. Tennessee State leads 15 to eight. Nice up and under finish. We'll be back after this. You're watching OBC Basketball on ESPN+. Plus. Back on the floor, 15 to eight. Moorhead State trails. That pass 
batted away. Moorhead State will retain possession after the ball goes out of play. Great effort by Johnson to try and chase it down. Goes out. Here's Thomas driving to the cup and basically taken away by Emmanuel Egbuta. He gets it to Marshall. Marshall open lane, he drives and scores. Carlos Marshall making it happen. It's a nine point lead for the Tigers. Foul on the floor. Carlos Marshall making his presence felt. He has put the scoring burden on his shoulders. He's got seven in the early going. So after the foul that was called, Jordan Walker to the line for two. First shot is good. Jordan Walker is a scoring machine. He's the second player in Moorhead State history with at least 1,200 career points, 200 assists, 100 steals, and 175 three-pointers made. Safe to say he's able to do it all for Moorhead State. Seven-point lead for TSU coming up on 10 minutes to go in the opening half. Marshall fakes like he's going to Johnson, goes cross court to Ebuda. Ebuda drives and a foul. No, it's a charge on Emmanuel Ebuda. First foul on Ebuda. Thomas, there's Walker, nice spin move, nice drop to James Baker for the finish. It's a five point game now, Freeman, there's Brown, oh what a dish to Johnson. John Brown and the Tigers fall asleep. They thought it was going to be a huge block. Instead, it's a goal 10. So two points to Moorhead State. Freeman bringing it up the floor. Working at the top, here's Marshall. Back to Freeman, Little John on the wing. Finding a Gupta near the top of the circle, he goes back to Little John. Back to Freeman, seven on the shot clock. Freeman, working, working. Going behind the back, throws it up, no one home. And Thomas comes down with the board. Three ball up, that's no good. And the loose ball now, Ekbuta picks it up, gets it to Little John. Great hustle by Emmanuel Ekbuta. There's Little John, he pulls up a three. Yes! Michael Little John knocks down the three. His first of the game, and it's an eight point Tennessee State lead. Henson gets it down low to Walker. Walker three ball off the screen, nobody home. Picked up by Baker, out of play. Tiger ball. Great step by Michael Little John to knock down the three. So he'll receive the inbound. 
and give it to Freeman. Under eight to go in the first half. Tennessee State doing their part. There's Freeman. Little John on the wing. Finding Shaquem Johnson. He goes inside. He tries to go inside, and Claude takes it away. Getting it to Walker. Here's Thomas. With the, they look like he walked. No call, however. Here's Walker. Nice backdoor cut. Kone alters the shot, but the second attempt, no good. Johnson comes down with the rebound. Here come the Tigers and Little John. Decides to pull it back. And the Tigers settle into their offense. Getting it across to Freeman. Hands it to Freeman again. Marshall on the left wing. He drives inside. What a move by Carlos Marshall. He's got nine. Thomas. Shot attempt. No good by Williams. Here comes Freeman. Little John working around Kone. He gets to a spot and knocks down the jumper. Michael Little John feeling it. Tennessee State feeling it. Timeout. Moorhead State. You are watching college basketball on ESPN Plus. It is a 12 point lead for the Tennessee State Tigers. Back with more action after this. Process. Back on the floor. Here's Thomas finding Cooper, working on Marshall. There's Walker. On Little John, the trap is there. Thomas with the floater, that's no good. Johnson with the rebound. Freeman at the top of the key. There's Marshall going down low to Johnson. Great effort inside, nice hook shot by Shaquem Johnson. TSU has doubled up Moorhead State in the first half. 28 to 14. Stanley Williams, no. Inside the claw, that shot, no good. Rebound, chased down by Marshall. Under five and a half to go. Tigers lead 28 to 14. Johnson inside, mid block. Nice spin move, baseline, no shot. A foul was called, however. Jacob Stanley Williams called for the foul. Here comes Walker. No, that shot no good. Tapped out, and Walker will corral the ball. Hard pressure by Littlejohn. Gets some space and knocks down the jumper. Jordan Walker. He's got six under. Five to go in the first half. Tennessee State got, has, has the Eagles playing their style of game, and there's a turnover. Here goes Thomas. He's driving. There's Claude working on Kone, trying to get it up and under. No good. Kone comes down with the rebound. And now the Tigers push. Here comes Marshall. He will drive and go up with the right hand. 
Carlos Marshall is feeling it now. He's got 11. A scramble for the ball. A jump ball and Tennessee State will retain possession. And they'll get the ball after this timeout. You're watching OVC Basketball on ESPN+. Plus. One of the keys to the game today for Moorhead State was to defend the three. So far, the Tigers have shot two of four from beyond the arc. And though they've limited them to just four attempts, they've hit two of them. Nevertheless, it is a 30 to 16 lead for Tennessee State. There's Thomas driving, kicking back to Walker. He lets up a three. That's no good. The ball bounces around, and it goes back into the hands of Juice Thomas. Baker finds Riddle. Riddle working. No, he'll go back to Thomas. Thomas drives. Thomas shot no good. Ball goes into the hands of Marshall. He's having himself a whale of a first half. Freeman now directing traffic. Comes off the screen by Kone. Marshall for three. No good rebound Walker. Trying to push. Walker turning the corner. Nice dump off to LJ Bryant. The big 6'9 forward from Cheltenham, Maryland. Gets his first bucket of the day and it's 30. 18. Ekbuta looking. He'll go to Marshall on the left wing. TSU shading the offense toward him. There's Freeman who puts up a three. That's no good. The high arcing rebound falls into the hands of Malik Riddle. Riddle looking no. He'll find Thomas. That shot is no good. The rebound taken by Marshall. He'll slow it down, but find Freeman in the corner. Little John for three. Give me all three of those. Michael Little John knocking down his second three of the day. The lead is up to 15 as we go under two minutes in the opening half. Threading the needle on that bucket is good. Nice pass by. James Baker. Timeout on the floor. Little John continuing his sharp shooting ways from long range. And then the nice pass. James to Walker leads to a TSU. I'm out. Threading the needle to a guy who does it all for Moorhead State. go Mark Freeman on the floor he brings it up Freeman one of three Mr. Basketball finalists out of his hometown Memphis and the other two 
are playing at Memphis for Penny Hardaway. There's Egbuda. Egbuda travels. Thomas finding Baker. There's Ryan. Goes back to Thomas. He thought about the pass. No. Walker trying to draw the contact, but his shot is no good. And here come the Tigers. Into the thick of the defense. That shot is no good. Egbuta. A foul is called on the floor. L.J. Bryan will be called for the foul, his first. So, the inbound. Freeman finds Igbuda. Under a minute to go in the first half. Freeman thought about the three, decided not to pull the trigger. There's little John, he goes back to John Brown. John Brown nearly turns it over. Five on the shot clock. Little John for three. And it goes over the backboard. And Moorhead State will take over. The situation down by 13. Moorhead State still in it. Thomas, there's Walker trying to thread the needle. No, goes pro baseline. Walker, that shot no good. And here's Michael Littlejohn. Chance to hold for the last shot. He gives to Freeman. Ten seconds left in this half. Freeman, three. He puts up a shot. That's no good. And that will put a nice little bow on the first half of action here at Gentry Center. Tennessee State leads 33 to 20. We will be back with the first half stats after this. You're watching the OBC on ESPN+. Talk to your doctor about Chantix. Entry Center, and I guess it's Founders Day. I wouldn't know for for some reason. I did not do the fraternity thing when I was in college. Nevertheless, it's a 13-point Tennessee State lead. This game fitting into the way they want to play. Tennessee State likes to push the pace and push the tempo up and down the floor. They like the crisp ball movement and they like to make timely shots. Moorhead State, they want to slow the pace down. They want to defend every inch of the floor and shorten possessions. For Moorhead State to get back into this game, they'll have to take control of the pace of play themselves. It's something that can be done, and head coach Preston Stradlin believes that he can do it. Stradlin in his second year at Moorhead State as head coach, his fifth season overall. More after this. Back here at Gentry Center. And many people here know Brian Penny Collins. 
as the head coach at Tennessee State. But if you have been around the state of Tennessee long enough, you may remember Brian Collins as a standout basketball star at White Creek High School. He played at Belmont for Rick Bird. And he served as a co-captain for the Bruins in 2006 when they went to their first ever NCAA tournament after winning the Atlantic Sun Conference. Collins was a four-year starter and he notched 1,199 career points. And he left as Belmont's all-time leader for assists and steals in the Division I era. He played professionally for the Cohort Bears in Finland and the Bakersfield Jam of the NBA Developmental League before starting his career as a coach. As an assistant coach at East Tennessee State in 2017, he also appeared in the NCAA tournament. Back in a moment with the second half of this game. And may worsen kidney problems. I have it within me to lower my A1C. Ask your doctor about Trulicity. Second half about to get underway here at the Gentry Center on the campus of Tennessee State University. 33 to 20, the home Tigers are in front. Time now for our series history. Presented by the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife. Moorhead State leads the all-time series 38 to 35. However, they've lost three of the last four here at Gentry Center. To put it simply, it has been difficult for Moorhead State to leave Gentry Center with a win. Will they be able to pull off the comeback? Well, let's find out. Second half is underway. And the Tigers will start with the ball. And here is Mark Freeman. Goes top of the key to Johnson, who gets to Washington. Back to Washington. Fakes the drive, no. Give and go to Freeman. Washington knocks down the three. Jalen Washington gets things started in the second half for TSU. There's Thomas. Coming off the screen is Henson. That shot is no good. The tip also no good. And here come the Tigers with the rebound. Trailing Washington. Shot no good. Walker comes down with the rebound. Place is ready to come unglued. That shot is good. Juice Thomas. Gets T-S-U. Moorhead State, excuse me, back in front. 36-22 in favor of the Tigers. Freeman to Johnson, back to Washington. There's Freeman working the offense to Washington. He decides to drive, no. He'll work back in the post. Right-handed hook shot, good. Jalen Washington off to a hot start here for the Tigers. 38-22. There's Henson and is taken away by Littlejohn. Going ahead to Washington. And he scores. Big time. Timeout on the floor. A 7-2 run. 
to get things started here in the second half for the TSU Tigers. Jalen Washington coming out smoking hot in the second half. Big bucket by Juice Thomas. Washington working inside. And then it's Washington again. Up and under. Exactly the start that Coach Penny Collins and the Tiger coaching staff wanted to see. Back on the floor. Moorhead State coming into today, holding their opponent to just under 33% shooting from long range. But they have been killed inside. Here's Walker on the three, that's no good. Washington coming and pushing now. It's Little John. Nice spin move by Marshall, but he is stripped by Henson. Shot up and good. Jimon Henson. His first bucket of the game makes it 40 to 24. These two coaches have, are both one and one in this series between the two. Shaquem Johnson, nice hook shot. He's got 10. Henson. There's Thomas, no. Trying inside to Baker, that's good. James Baker with the bucket. He's got 10. Here's Washington, finding Little John. Marshall, shot up, that's no good. Rebound, Walker. Walker bringing it up the floor, working around the screen. Trying to go inside, but it's taken away. Marshall in the corner, thought about the three, decided not to take it. There's Freeman. He goes inside to Johnson. Johnson, and then a takeaway. Stolen by Walker. Here's Thomas. That shot, no good. Rebound, Johnson. And here comes Freeman, working his way down. Decides to pull it back out. And then drive, pull up. He gets the friendly roll. Mark Freeman, his first bucket of the game. 44-26, Tennessee State in front. Baker, finding Henson on the left wing. It's taken away by Johnson. And he finishes with the finger roll. Turning defense into offense, and he's got 12. Thomas driving, going with the left hand, no good, rebound, Washington. Here goes Freeman. Little John working around the offense now. The floater, not enough touch on it. Thomas getting it ahead to Baker. That shot, no good, rebound by Washington. 
Tigers choosing to slow it down. Under 15 to go in the second half. Washington around the screen. Give and go to Little John. Little John with a nice cross. Kicking it out. Who's going to get to the ball? Freeman will. Shot clock violation. Shot attempt by Freeman did not get to the rim. And so when we come back from the timeout, Moorhead State has a chance to cut into this deficit, which has now ballooned to 20. 46-26. You're watching college basketball right here on ESPN+. Plus. So here we are. Back to the action. Cooper finding Thomas. And there's in the corner, no. Back to Thomas. He pulls it back out to long range. 15 on the shot clock. Trying to get the screen from Bryant. There's Cooper driving his way around. Going inside to Bryant. Bryant working down low on Kone. The hook shot is good. LJ Bryant gets on the board. He's got four. Kone. Kicked inside the Brown, and he finishes. John Brown, the junior, transfer from Georgia Tech, gets his first bucket of the game. And the lead is back to 20, and a no shot. A foul on the floor before the shot attempt. His first foul, Michael Littlejohn. And out of play. Tennessee State will retain possession. No, Moorhead State will, excuse me. Throwing it up, there's Brian. Give and go to Cooper. Henson in the corner. That's no good. Egbuta comes down with the board. John Brown pushing. The nephew of former NBA All-Star Kenny Anderson. Handling the ball for the Tigers in this possession. He gets the little Johnny drives baseline. Corner for Brown. That rims in and out. Egbuta comes down with the rebound. And he gets the bucket. Emmanuel Egbuta gets the bucket and the foul. Here we go. Coming out of the timeout, 
Watching Emmanuel Igbutas finish at the rim, bringing that Bronx toughness down to North Nashville. So the inbound will be by James Baker. Warhead State finds themselves down by 22. There's Riddle finding Baker at the top of the key. Cooper working on Brown, driving. Nice spin move inside, give and go, but it's a turnover. Baker could not handle the hot pass in the post. And Tigers have a chance to really make this lead expand. Under 13 to go in the second half. 50 to 28 the lead. Here's Little John kicking it back to Kone. Looking for a place to go with it. There's Brown. Brown working and that is a charge on John Brown. Ordinarily disciplined basketball by Moorhead State. They average about 12 turnovers per game this season. Here's Baker, no shot. The foul occurred before the shot attempt. Emmanuel Egbuta called for the foul. So second attempt, here's Baker. Finding Bryant, gets it to Riddle. Cooper thought about the three, no. He decides to drive, goes with the floater. That does not fall. And John Brown now pushes to Little John. Pulls up for the jumper. That's no good. The rebound is fought for and a foul is called. Egbuta called for the foul. That is his third. He will more than likely take a breather. Timeout on the floor. Everybody's taking a breather, actually. Media timeout. We will be back after this. You are watching college basketball right here on ESPN+. Plus. No lies, beautiful ideas. Back on the floor, 50 to 28, Tennessee State leads. Moorhead State trying to do their best to cut into this deficit. Walker finding Cooper. Going cross court to Walker, Walker fakes the three. Working his way around, that shot no good. Kone comes down with the rebound. Ben Kone playing a physical style of ball and giving the Tigers a needed attitude in the low post. There's Washington on the corner. He drives baseline and he is fouled from behind and he'll go to the line for two. Second foul on L.J. Bryan. First free throw is good for Jalen Washington, who's been aggressive going to the cup tonight and getting his own shot. The senior from Smyrna, Tennessee, played his high school ball at Stewart's Creek High School. Knocks down the second free throw attempt. 52-28. In favor of the Tigers. 11 minutes to go here. And 
Nearly a loose ball, but Walker picks it up. 10 on the shot clock. He drives nice up and under. The shot no good. The tip also goes in. Taylon Cooper. Marshall drives, no. Kicks it out, and it is a turnover for TSU. TSU averaging about 17 turnovers per game. And that was their 13th of this game. Just a, sh a shade under their season average. But it hasn't affected them on the scoreboard as they're up by 22. There's Riddle, nice spin to the left. Blocked by Brown. Out of bounds. Moorhead State will retain possession, but what a play by John Brown. Baker going cross court. There's Henson, seven on the shot clock. Henton drives, nice, up and under. Jimon Henson. He's got four. Deficit is 20 for Moorhead State. Washington driving to his left. Kicked back to Freeman. Six on the shot clock. Nice spin move by Freeman. He goes up and under with the right hand and scores. Mark Freeman. He's got four. Cooper, nice pass to Baker, baseline. And then they go back in transition. Freeman. Finding Brown. Nice spin move by Brown. Shot no good. Rebound Henson. Baker finds Cooper. Down low to Baker. Working on Johnson. He goes inside. Goes with the hook shot. No good. John Brown with the rebound. That was a near turnover. But Freeman is able to gather it and working on Walker. Nice screen by Johnson. And Freeman is fouled. Mark Freeman at the line for two. Knocks down the first one. The freshman out of Memphis, Tennessee. Played at South Wind High School. Two-time All-State honoree for South Wind. And he was rated as a three-star recruit at by ESPN and 24-7 Sports. Definitely was on the national radar. Freeman knocks down the second free throw. And here come the Eagles. Down by 22, coming up on eight minutes to go. Henson fakes the pass inside, works around to Cooper. Back to Henson, nice spin move. Shot altered, but rebounded by Claw. Back in the game, and good and one. Ties on Claw. Nice work down low. And he'll take the free throw after the timeout on the floor. Your score, Tennessee State 56, Moorhead State 36. You are watching 
college basketball right here on ESPN Plus. Back on the floor here at Gentry Center and Ty Zon Claude attempting a free throw and that's no good. Rebounded by Moody. Moody looks like he's nursing a few, some pain in his hand. Here's Johnson, and it's poked away. That was Thomas, and there's Riddle for three, and that's rebounded by Henson. That's blocked by Junk, by Washington. And here comes Freeman. Freeman working his way around. We're coming up on seven minutes to go. Washington. Going back inside, there's Johnson. Working on Claude. He tried to get it, but it didn't go. And here's Cooper pushing the pace. It's a one-man break, and that's a score. Kalon Cooper. He's got six. The lead is down to 18. About six and a half to go. Freeman working his way around the Washington screen. There's Johnson. Nine on the shot clock. Johnson drop step. Almost had a spectacular shot attempt. But Washington gathers the board and then is fouled. Ties on Claude. Great effort by the two low post Tigers. And Washington now with a chance for a bucket. First free throw is good for Jalen Washington. Washington originally played at Louisiana Tech. His second free throw is no good. Played three years at Louisiana Tech and then transferred to Tennessee State to finish out his career. A little close to home. There's Claude with the bucket. Claude's got four. Oh my goodness. Mark Freeman putting people in a blender. Kick it to Washington. Going inside the Washington. And no shot. That's a charge. But the world needs to see what Mark Freeman just did to two Moorhead State Eagles. See, on things like that, you got to get a bucket so you can end up on Sports Center. Henson driving and all over. Hard to argue with that call. Fans don't like it here, but Can't really say anything about it. 
First free throw by Cooper is good. Mark Freeman drops one. And drops him again. Second free throw is good. It's a 15 point game. Right as we come up on five minutes to go. Little John. Now working. Bring it around, that's a three ball. No good, Moody with the rebound. And he draws the contact. Crashing the offensive board is Ravel Moody. But just a fourth team foul on Moorhead State. So the Tigers will inbound, and there's Marshall. Coming off now to set the offense up. Here's Little John in the corner, Egbuda. Looking for space, getting to Freeman. Round the horn to Marshall. That shot, no go. Oh my, almost a put back by Egbuta. Nevertheless, here come the Eagles, throwing it up. And nice finish by Tyson Claude. Time out on the floor. 57 to 44. It is a 13 point lead for Tennessee State. Fantastic alley you finish to Tyson Claude. He almost didn't make it. But Claude, 6'8", Fran, I think he needed all 6'8 of that to get that ball to the cup. So out of the timeout, what do the Tigers draw up? Freeman working on Thomas. Give and go to Marshall. Washington now on the right side. 10 on the shot clock. Timeout TSU, Penny Collins was, needless to say, less than thrilled with that offensive sequence. Timeout on the floor, we'll be right Starting at just 189, there's something for everyone. That's fresh value, only from Subway. Fifty-seven forty-four. As we come up, come up on four minutes left in this game. Tennessee State leads fifty-seven forty-four. Going high to Johnson, and it rolls off the rim. Cooper comes in for the rebound. Henson looking. He goes back down low to Claude. Claude fighting his way, and a foul is called. I'll be on Shaquem Johnson. His second foul, so at the line, is Tyson Claude. The freshman from Goldsboro, North Carolina, hits on the one and one. No, he misses. So TSU. In control, under four to go. Freeman. A foul call before the shot. 
Kalon Cooper called for the foul. His third, and just the fifth foul on Moorhead State this half. Washington retrieving the inbound, the give and go to Little John. Finding Marshall, going inside the John, uh, Washington, who finishes? Jalen Washington, 12 points on the night for the senior. Henson drives, blocked out of play by Shaquem Johnson. Johnson goes up and says, try again, sir. So Cooper will inbound and there's Thomas. Cooper, too hot to handle for James Baker and TSU will retain possession. Little John works on Walker. It is a 15 point TSU advantage. Henson fights through the screen. There's Washington. Great defense by Moorhead State. Timeout on the floor. 59-44, Tennessee State in front. Tigers will take their final timeout. Back on the floor, Washington. Little John loses the handle, but is able to. Shot clock violation on TSU. Michael Little John lost the handle on his pass. And time ran out. Walker. Driving, going up and under and finishing. Jordan Walker. It's a 13 point game, Walker's got 10. Coming up on two minutes to go here at Gentry Center. Little John working. Almost a synchronized dance between Defender and Little John. Stop at your play, it looks like a foul away from the ball. <laughs> Inbound to Washington. Give and go to Little John. Step back. Shot off. Goes off the defender. And it looks like TSU ball. Ben Kone liked it. The door hasn't effectively closed on Moorhead State, but it is still slightly ajar as we come up on 80 seconds left in this matchup. Tennessee State up by 13. Marshall drives. Shot is good. And the foul. 
will be called. So it's an and one for Carlos Marshall Jr. And that should effectively slam the door on the Eagles of Moorhead State. Nice drive by Marshall. Didn't look like a foul to me, but still getting my eyes used to the game. Free throw is good, and Tennessee State up by 16. Cooper to Thomas. Baker, Cooper, three ball. In and out, and Johnson with the rebound. And that, my friend, should be all she wrote tonight. Marshall willing to take the shot clock all the way down as he works on James Baker. Five on the shot clock, shot up, no good. Rebound, Johnson, he goes up, that's no good. Rebound, Marshall, and he is fouled. Julius Dixon in the game for Moorhead State and commits a foul. Carlos Marshall putting the final few sprinkles on this OVC win for Tennessee State. First free throw is good. Second free throw is good. Marshall finishes with 16 points on the evening. Johnson done as well. A short bench tonight for Tennessee State. And one by Baker. No good. Freeman picks up the rebound, and that will be all she wrote tonight. Tennessee State comes back to Gentry Center and gets a big conference win against the Moorhead State Eagles. Your final score, TSU 64, Moorhead State 48. Carlos Marshall led the way with 16. Jalen Washington with 12. Mark Freeman with six, three rebounds and two assists. Time now for our final stats of the evening. And it's a big win for TSU, mainly because they held Moorhead State to just zero. They blanked them in the three-point line. 20 of 57 shooting for Moorhead State. For TSU, four of 12 from three. But the big story was their strong defense allowing just 44 points to the Moorhead State Eagles. That will put a nice little bow on this two-for-one doubleheader. 
double the basketball here at Gentry Center. Once again, your final score, Tennessee State 64, Moorhead State 48. So for Angela Davis, our spotter, Nat Perry, our producer, our fantastic crew working all around the arena. This is CJ Eckie saying good night from the Gentry Center. We'll see you on Saturday as the Tigers take on Eastern Kentucky. Once again, your final score, TSU 64, Moorhead State 49. Have a great evening, everyone.